After all the exposition, the show follows Domon's fights with various nations' Gundams, with the aforementioned four fighters interfering with his business. You wouldn't really do justice by calling them filler episodes, though, as there isn't an episode that I didn't like. Dear God, what is Chibi doing? Doesn't he know that hoverboards won't work on water? Not unless you've got power. Sometimes, I think there's just gotta be something wrong with that guy. I'd like to talk more about all the relevant plot points, but this show is just so steeped in plot twists that I really can't say anything without ruining it. Domo, Argo, Chibity, George, and Saisaishi, through various events, all get led into becoming a group called the Shuffle Alliance, and they all get crests, titles if you will, like Domon's King of Hearts. Chibity, of course, gets the Queen, downgrading him to the status of Steve Buscemi. Why am I Mr. Pink? Because you're a faggot, all right? <laughs> the two main storylines involve the Shuffle Alliance's fights against each other as part of the Gundam fight, as well as their mutual alliance against the Devil Gundam. G Gundam was actually made a year before Gundam Wing, which is pretty amazing considering that it's so much better when it comes to animation, music, and even story. Yet while G Gundam was swept under the rug in America, in Japan it is the more popular of the two. And chances are you've seen some things in Japanese media that were done first in G Gundam. The most prominent comparison is to the Metal Gear Solid series, and it wouldn't be a huge stretch either. Hideo Kojima is a known fan of giant robot anime, and you don't get much bigger than Gundam. Sadly, I can't point out many of these comparisons due to spoilers, but that actually is something I can compare these two series about. The nature and large number of twists. And what does this song remind you of? The Gundam are all extremely cliché, but that only makes them more awesome. What I don't get is why they give Gundam Master, America's Gundam, a big freaking handgun. His gimmick is supposed to be boxing, but they just give him a handgun in a later episode anyway. I guess there's just nothing more American than a handgun. And remember, guns don't kill people. Clowns with guns kill people. But I'll close with the single greatest thing about G Gundam. Shining Finger Sword. I'm positive. This guy has acquired abilities of the Dark Gundam with the help of Kyoji! Childhood dramas out of five. <laughs>
many years. 